Chill. The plane did not crash. All passengers reached their destination and spent a fulfilling week. Now it's time to leave. This is Ellie. She is Estonian and now she promises to German Stefan that it is not over yet. Let's keep in touch. Don't panic, it's just snow. Ellie is back in Estonia, in her homeland. Ellie is carried away. Ellie took part in a youth project which got funded by the Youth in Action programme of the European Union. The groups from different countries came together to have a project because they were interested in the environment. They explored the topic of ecological footprint and developed possible solutions about what they can do personally. Believe me, it was exciting. We had fun and we got smarter, a lot. To explore the nature and human effects on it, we were also hiking on the mountains. In every workshop, we also had intercultural topic or activity for thoughts. We also shared our traditional food and all this led us into great conversations and we noticed our similarities and differences. We talked with each other about what we learned, what we heard, what we saw, what we explored, what we noticed. We wrote and draw our ideas in our personal diaries, what will later help us look back. I am happy that our group leader introduced Youth Pass already in the beginning of our youth exchange, so we got to know that there is a tool to systemize our achievements. When do you finish that nonsense? Hey! I'm finalizing my youth pass, and getting to know your strengths and development is not nonsense. But why do you need a youth pass? By doing it, I will find right words to explain what I know now more and can do better than before. Plus, I can show the youth pass to employers when I'm looking for a job. And you know, it is not just filling the gaps and writing a certificate at the end of the project. At first, Ellie defined her personal goals for learning, and now she looks back and analyzes how many kicks she got in. It sounds like football. How many goals did you get? I got five personal goals. One, to learn more about global warming. Two, to get some experience of other cultures. Three, unexpectedly, I learned some phrases in German. Four, to learn how to make toys out of cans, but I missed that one because I chose another workshop. Five, to develop some new skills by experiencing computer programs that I did not work with before. In our group, we also had some collective goals. This project-based learning sounds like fun. Thanks. Yes, and we're already planning a new project. Count me in. Why not? Next month you're old enough to join us.